And we are on the Nigerian stock uh, market now. The equities market saw a bullish start on Monday as equities added 851 billion naira in value. The equities market closed higher by 2.48 percent, reaching 35.18 trillion naira from 33.83 trillion naira in the previous session, reflecting the optimistic mindset of investors. Uh, the Nigerian Stock Exchange All Share Index ended the trading section. On a high note, uh, the level of 1,563.3 points. That's about, uh, I mean, settling the in index now, settling at 64,603.69 uh, on uh, from the previous uh, trading section. Yet to date, rises to 26.05%, while trading value of shares rose to 22.03 billion. Uh, a remarkable increase of 21.07 billion era uh, from uh, 958.85 million at uh, the previous trading session. Uh, if you take a look at, uh, uh, so that's what you have. You take a look at the top five gainers for you: the MRS, Name It, uh, Jais Bank, uh, Dark Communication, uh, Dangote Cement. We're all at uh, top five. Uh, yesterday, and if you flip to the other side, the losers include Pharmadeco. Uh, you have uh, uh, Berger, uh, we hope, of course, you have uh, Berger Paint, you have uh, uh, Guinea Insurance, and you have Champions, among others, there for you. Uh, that's a quick uh, snapshot of what went down uh, on Monday uh, in the market. So let's uh, quickly get talking now. Well, I've been joined by Christian Isaac Anyalis, a stockbroker and investment analyst. He joins us uh, uh, virtually. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming again. So, good morning, and it's good to have you. Good morning, Mr. Frank. Yes. So, uh, talk to us about uh, uh, this positive uh, rally, a massive rally uh, yesterday on the floor of the exchange with about 2.48% uh, rise, uh, bringing the uh, market capitalization uh, above 33 million, uh, trillion naira. That's the highest in history. Talk to us about this. Yeah, um, what we are seeing, I continue to say, is a, is a, is a function of, uh, of uh, market-focused uh, policies uh, uh, emanating from the, from the government. Um, in addition to that, in the first quarter of, uh, of uh, this year, 2023, uh, the, the report from... Uh, National Bureau of Statistics uh, shows that uh, about uh, 1.13 billion uh, uh, dollars was uh, attracted via via foreign investment, and uh, out of which uh, about uh, 222 million US dollars was destined to the equities market, as it were. Um, representing uh, uh, the, 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 the growth in foreign direct investment represents uh, about 6.83% compared with uh, what we had in the last quarter of uh, 2022. So all that, you know, has impacted, you know, positively on the share prices of the equities uh, capital market in Nigeria here. You, you, like you rightly observed, you have seen the, the oil share price index, you know, moving to uh, 64,603.69 points, uh, which represents 2.48% uh, growth on a year-to-date uh, uh, gain of 26.05%. Uh, That's right. You also saw the market capitalization advancing to 35.18 trillion, which also uh, represents 2.48% uh, uh, gain uh, w compared to Friday trading, which closed at 1.65% right. gain. And, and and on a year to date gain of 26.02. So um, at the center of all this, like I said, uh, market driven uh, uh, policies of the government. Well, while uh, we, we are going through a transition period, the, most of the presidential as parents uh, in, in the course of their campaign or within their campaign manifestos made allusions to a number of reforms that they were going to carry out mm. if elected into power. 
So uh, some foreign investors uh, took advantage of that and wanted to test the waters, being the only best to test the waters, mm -hmm. and that is responsible for the for the for the job that you saw um, in, in 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 foreign direct investment, you know, mm -hmm. hitting the Nigerian financial system. So so you can know, we say and, quickly? And okay, uh, yeah. just pardon me. Uh, can we say that with the foreign portfolios? or the foreign direct investment is the market driver for the moment is is that what you're saying it is part of it it okay. is part of right. it and that is predicated on on uh, on on the on the assumption that uh, the foreign investors intended to some of them who are familiar with the environment the nigerian environment uh, decided to 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 test run, to test run uh, the, the the Nigerian business environment, okay. as it were. Okay. We've also seen that uh, there are there are ongoing uh, further reforms in terms of uh, uh, customs revenue, in terms of VAT, in terms of uh, uh, of of multiple taxations. You know, mm. so okay. all Let of this, you know, mm. are market driven. Uh, uh policies of the government and you, you you can you can you can be sure any point in time that they will impact positively in the market that is responsible for for the trend that we're seeing okay well well uh, i mean some analysts also say that uh, the bullish sentiment in the equities uh, market uh is likely to persist in the coming days but some other sentiment also say that when you see the market gain uh, perhaps that's when to be cautious the more uh, how true uh, i mean is this a statement two statements yeah um well you will also want to look at that from uh, certain uh, investment philosophies there is what we call uh, contrarian investment strategy uh, that is to say that if we have some portfolio manage managers are uh, 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 you know take positions against the trend in the market okay so uh, the analysts will be coming from uh, various positions from the position of being conservative from the position of contrarian investment strategy philosophy or, or whatever background that they may share but the truth of the matter here uh, is that uh, so long as most of these uh, policies uh, are, are not reversed it is it is difficult it is difficult to see mm. a total reversion of, of the market but however however um uh, there is no market that wins, goes up uh, continually indefinitely at some point there will be need for market corrections at a point the market will begin to look at um most of these equities that that the prices are rising they begin to compare them uh, look at their dividend yield look at their uh, price to book value look at their uh, pe ratios and some other investment metrics in order to be able to ascertain whether the price rise the price increases are in tandem with with uh, financial fundamentals for those respective equities you know mm -hmm. so for for now for now um we, we don't expect we don't expect a dilution we don't okay. expect All a right. reasonable dilution let me use that word a reasonable dilution in the in the in the in the rally that we have seen okay all right so le let me quickly um uh, ask you now um what is likely to play out today? Do you expect the market to continue on yesterday's gain? Um, that's on the one side. So, and according to uh, some sentiment, uh, that the investors perhaps need to take position ahead of the uh, second quarter earnings season that is ahead of us. So, talk to us what is likely to shape the market ahead of the second quarter uh, earnings season you've you've made a point there for those for those equities uh that 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 have been known for um uh half year dividends you it, it might it might be very difficult to see a dilution in their in their prices they will continue to be rally uh, around around such stocks stocks like zenith bank stocks like uh, gt bank stocks like uh, even fidelity talking about the banking sector stock stock like mtn Okay, these stocks that are known traditionally for for some 
some some percentage, some proportion of dividend, a half year dividends, will continue to be attractive destinations for investors funds. You know, so um, that is that. That is the way the 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 half year result is likely to impact on the on on the share prices of these equities. Okay, well, I, I think uh, Hello? just yes, I, I Hello? think I, yeah. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, can I? So, um, if you look at uh, if you look at the the mm. sectoral analysis, with banking sector doing one point seven three, um, the the uh, NGX and industrial goods doing about five point three, uh, five point one three, the insurance sector at four point one eight. Okay, if you put all that together, you, you don't expect that uh, the market will, 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 will go down. Uh, drastically today so okay. i expect that uh, there will be a balance yeah, at the end of the day okay uh, i think a good place to leave it uh, thank you so much uh, for your your time uh christina is a stockbroker and investment analyst we appreciate you for coming again thank you always mr frank it's all right well still to come after the break we will show you how the uh reserve has performed in the first half talking about uh, the foreign exchange schedule with regards to the performance of nigeria's external reserve in the first quarter of 2023 that's our focus next please stay with us <music>